In this lesson, we are going to take the curriculum maps or subject maps that we have written for our classes. We're going to put them into practice. And this, uh, this next step will start to show you plan board. And once you start playing around with this, I think you'll see why uh, moving to this curriculum mapping tool is worth the effort. Um, so what the way we'll start is I will select one of my classes, um, one of my curriculum maps rather. I will go to edit the unit maps so I can see the detailed breakdown of all of these. And I will share this to resources. And once I have it here, I can go ahead and share with the whole school. That's right. Um, it's uh, it's easiest just to share to the whole school. Um, the reason why is because the whole school will have access to the curriculum mapping tool, which isn't normal for most of the customers at chalk.com. And so uh, here we'll be able to see all of each other's uh, subject maps that we're working on. Well, there'll be a global list. Um, so sharing to the whole school just means that they'll all be also available over in resources. So I think it's, uh, you know, six in one hand, a half dozen in the other. So um, whoop. what we can do is edit Unimaps, share to resources. All right, I did that already. Now I can go over to resources, and if I see everything, then I can see uh, this class. Here we go. And shared with the whole school. And now if I want to use this, I can now import these standards and all of this detail that I worked on. And I select my school year. I select my subject. And I can start a, on a date when these new standards will be effective. So that way I, I don't uh, necessarily have to overwrite anything. I don't worry about anything. I just uh, select that and I import. Now, I did this earlier and what happens because I had already set up my subjects earlier um, inside plan board, um, working on my individual classes, I can set up um, for let's say computer science one, I've been setting up my lessons and I've been making my own units here. You can make, you can add units from this view um, as well. Uh, but the problem with adding, creating units from here is that they're unique to uh, your individual planner. You can't share them with the school. It's not particularly helpful for a lot of our uh, accreditation needs. Um, so what we do instead is we do that importing that I was just modeling. And what happens in my case, I, since I had already put in these units once on my own, when I imported them, I get a new copy of these units um, right here, and I can see them duplicated. Uh, what's nice, though, is that you can see these new, le these new units that I imported, they already have lessons uh, associated with them. And if I go to my month calendar, I might be able to show you uh, why. And zoom up to this month. And right, so you can see, uh, if I go to my week view, it might be a little bit easier. And you'll be able to see the units. Because I specified that unit one takes a week, um, it's right there. I think I might have said two weeks. Yep, uh, no, just one. Unit two takes two weeks. You can, so you can see it automatically distributed, distributed my units according to how long I said that each unit would take. Um, and that's helpful because now I can uh, plan. I can always change these. Um, it's no problem to change them. Uh, but it allows me to uh, use it as my pacing guide. Um, as I plan my lessons for the rest of the semester. So pretty useful. Again, the process was um, inside plan board and um, in my curriculum mapper. 
I once I was done enough uh, rather with uh, my curriculum map I shared to resources and from resources I was able to import the uh, subject map to my subject and you can see uh, its effects. Um, so all in all uh, really useful. Um, I'm a big fan of where this is going. I appreciate your effort of uh, taking this course and trying to learn these new tools. It will take a little bit of time for you to settle into plan board. We're not in any particular rush. Uh, please uh, it, let me know if you have any questions or concerns or if you spot something that doesn't seem to be working right. Uh, by all means, just let me know. Thanks again.